What is up, F it Outdoors? What day did you say it was? The 25th? February 25th. It's been raining for a week straight. No joke. A week straight. The whole town Aurora's flooded. It's bad. We're out here in the middle of nowhere fishing this beautiful blue. I guess you'd call this a lake, wouldn't you? I would think so. It's a private lake. And uh, it's not very muddy. It's pretty clear. We're going to throw the kitchen sink at them. Try to put together a video so stick with us here we go i'm not it right here i'm gonna start off with this cranked vibrating jig but i think it's called byron something you guys need to go check their website out they got a lot of cool stuff list him gino's setting hooks on structure probably that, that's not structure it peeled my worm off the end of it all right uh, Structure what kind of structures field. in here, Steve? I couldn't tell you, Robert. You don't know. I, I caught something. Some trees, you know, I caught something twice. You got some rocks. Well, I'd say this thing's probably got moss or red ears and everything. I know his other pond always had big red ears in it, didn't it? Yeah, they think it's coming a big large mouth. Out of the small pond brought them up here, too. How deep is it, Steve, you know? That's 65 feet. Oh, that guy. It looks pretty good in that water, too. Oh. Huh? Jig with that little stubby worm thing I put on there. It's a little water's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh. It's almost 12 inches. <laughs> huh? I only got one of these, dude. I'm just kidding. It's, it's just on a jig head. Oh, yeah. That one's a little bigger. That one might go a pound. Gina's <laughs> down there smoking them. <laughs> Every cat's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I seen that. What have you got trailed with? Just a little. <laughs> that big worm. A little stand up. Oh, yeah. That stands straight up on the bottom on this jig for some reason. It just goes. It's the way it's supposed to. Yeah, it works perfect. I'm full of these guys. Man, I 
on my own money, Gino. On that minnow. They all the same size? Pretty much. What needs to happen is he needs to get some of them out of here. He needs to get some of them catfish out of here because he ain't got enough to eat. Little big babies. Or well, they're all buck bass. A lot of buck bass. Got Ain't bad. About a pound and a half. Caught that on my new jig from my new jig company. Oh, he jumped out of my hand. Did you see how I caught that? I skipped that jig up underneath that tree. What is that? Oh. <laughs> they all plugged up. Brown and orange jig, no rattles, do you know? I broke, I broke that thing. You don't realize what just happened? Yeah. yeah. I skipped it across your line and snagged you on purpose. I got it all on film. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to do was get it over here to me and I was going to burn it. I was going to bite break you off. But it's like, it's going to happen anyway, so while you're over and around... Hmm. Piss! Oh, dude! How'd you get that out there? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> get me out of here, buddy. Hmm. Yep. Alright, folks. <clears throat> So we're going to wrap it up and get out of here. We caught eight fish total on the day. Gino got five. I got three. I think it's fair to say I caught the big fish of the day. Right out of this corner right here on the uh, hot sauce finesse jig. Flipping jig. I'm sorry. From crankfishing.com. Um, I just started a pro staff position with these guys and got my hands on first first batch of baits that I've tried for them. I threw a chatterbait for a little bit. It looked beautiful in the water. They got really good quality stuff with really great colors. That's the hot sauce again. And uh, the other fish I caught was on a square bill crankbait. I caught another one on a um, 
lipless crankbait that I got from a mystery tackle box. I think Dino caught all, you caught all yours on a Ned rig, didn't you? Ned rig with a Z-Man DRD. They bit like hell the first hour, hour and a half we were here. But uh, I think that pond back there has just got too many small fish in it, too many catfish in it, I don't know. It's not, it's not a very old lake. But um, hopefully the weather starts cooperating. We need things to warm up, get these fish in more of a pre-spawn pattern. Right now they're still kind of lethargic. So I don't know, I appreciate you watching. Like always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my YouTube channels. And uh, yeah, like always, say F it and get outdoors. Guaranteed it's gonna be a lot better than sitting inside doing nothing. See ya.